Hey guys, welcome back to Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Now in today's video, we're gonna be doing some summons. I don't have a heap, um, but I've saved the ones I've been getting and we did have that event summon. With the new update, we started getting some um, ultra premium tickets and some premium tickets. So we'll go through all those and we'll punch through the t normal tickets first and then we'll go into the ultra premiums and then into the guaranteed Nat 5. Hoping once again for that Spitfire, I'd also take a dupe of Astro Blast or Nightmare just to get those shards and start powering them up. But we'll start doing these normals and see what we can get with these purchase tickets. We'll go some speed up. Hopefully we just get some Nat 4s at least. Hopefully some Freeze Blade would be really nice. Or Deja Vu I'm also looking for. Those are the big ones I'm hoping for, but we'll take what we whatever we get. Still find a stranger here. Ooh, Cinder, that's alright. We just did the video on Cinder. And Enigma's never bad either. So that's that's not that's not too bad summon. We'll jump into these ones. Ultra premiums. Let's go. Let's just hope for something decent on the Nat 5. Dinorang. Robo. Okay, if we get five more Robo, I'm real happy. Because he is sitting at 45 now, I think it is. Oh, lightning on the wrong one. Double. 45 Robo, okay. Let's get one more Robo out of these. Come on, five Robo shards, that's all I'm asking. Tri-tip, nice. Pop Fizz, okay, I'll take that. Nat 4, that's better than... Oh, double Nat 4 Lightning. Okay, I'll take that, all right. Come on, Robo, come on. That's all right, we only, we only need five Robos. It really wants me to build Slam Bam. Deja Vu, nice. Uh, this should be the legendary after this one. Robo. Spitfire, okay. That's a, I need the Spitfires anyway, but I'm thinking we're going for Spitfire from this one. So let's go to inventory. This is only going to be a short video because, hey, summons are quick. Let's go. Come on, the Spitfire. Please be Spitfire. Ambush. Okay, not bad. He's not farmable. He's a decent unit. Let's summon him and have a look at him. There is like just another awesome design. I'm a massive fan of all the art in this game. I know that I know it's from the old franchise, but they've done it really well into the into the mobile setting, and I'm really impressed with the way it does look. And all these characters just look awesome. So let's have a check out of this ambush. All right, skills. Okay, that's going to be the awakening skill. Such an enemy, 50% chance to gain attack up for one turn. That's nice at a zero mana cost attack buff. Like that's really efficient. Obviously, no mana. Um, this one charges body on the enemy session of shield. 15. Yeah, that's all right if you if you've got synergy and you got something with a shield. The five mana cost on the eight second cooldown. Okay, it could be used as a and a nuke in arena if it has a good multiplier once you max skill it because it does go down to that five second cooldown, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, if the multiplier isn't there and it can't one shot enemies then it won't be as good. Um, this, you got a charge skill, which is always awesome. Char like, this guy is super efficient. He's a free unit to throw in a team. I've, I've been talking about this in some of my other videos about the mana cost. This is the kind of unit that is real nice. You can throw him in, use zero mana in your team, but still be throwing out skills. So that's awesome. Focuses for nine seconds, launches blocks of bamboo at all enemies, decreases the enemy's buff count by one. Hey, that's not bad. And I'm tipping it does decrease buff count of all enemies, yep. Uh, but it throws bamboo of all enemies. Okay, I, I don't, I'm not quite getting these skill ups because it says it already does it to all enemies. But now it's saying you skill up to all enemies, so. But it's removing, it's, it's decreasing buff count by two. A lot of buffs are only two turns, so that is actually really nice anyway. Um, oh, okay. Okay, okay, now I'm getting it. So he's actually got four active skills. I haven't actually seen anyone with four active skills. Okay, so he's got the shield. Um, he gives himself a shield, then he can attack with the shield, get uh, the attack additionally. Uh, I'm not sure how well that'll work, um, just because of the damage, you're missing out on attack buff. So he's an interesting one that I'll have to play with later on once I do max him out and get to the point of testing him. If you have got him, let me know what you're using because that's a real interesting one for me, his kit. Because once you got those four skills, then it becomes real hard to choose. 
All right, let's look at his, uh, his passive. For every five attacks, gains focus for one turn. Yeah, focus is nice, like that, that's always a win. Um, yeah, nice, okay. Not the unit I was hoping for, he's not the Spitfire, but hey, I'll take any new unit I can get, and I pretty much take any dupe as well for the shard, so. That's it for this summon video. Sorry it wasn't too exciting, guys, but thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.